You guys could easily check those with your calculator. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, again, when we're looking at this, uh, you know, a lot of times when we have expressions with variables and with, um, with numbers, a lot of times we can use that uh, product rule of radicals that I previously told you about. And we can just separate this. This is not necessary. But sometimes when you're like getting confused on everything, or you have a lot of different variables, I like to just break everything up so I can just simplify each and every um, separate uh, term separately. Do you remember, we wrote this rule. If you have the product, if you have the root of, a, of expression separated by multiplication, you can separate it, each one. So therefore, we say, well, can I rewrite um, the fifth root? Can I write 243 as a number raised to the fifth power? And what I spoke with Denise is, yes, if you guys try, you can write, rewrite 3 to the fifth power. Well, we already have x to the fifth power. That works. I'm just going to rewrite it, though, so I can do everything together. And then can, he, can I rewrite y to the, um, can I re rewrite it? I'm going to, again, I want to use the power rule. Can I rewrite y, um, y to the 15th as something to the fifth power? Yes. Right, very good. Very good. Does that make sense? It's to the fifth power. Y cubed is to the fifth power, right? Yes? You also could have done y to the fifth times y to the fifth times y to the fifth and done all of those separately if you wanted to. However, remember the identity element. n raised to a to the n equals a. So now, five, fifth root of 3 to the fifth power is 3. Fifth root of x to the fifth power is x. Fifth root of y cubed to the fifth power is y cubed. <coughs> Done. Anybody have any questions? Preguntas.